1856 by Colonel Thomas Stevens. Probably just this main part. Does didn't have a kitchen originally. I know that much. So in the 30s, roughly, I think this addition was bid on. Just the bottom part. And my parents added very gradually in the 90s through to till we came back from Japan in 2010. That master bedroom is right there. So um what else? I said 1856. Let's come around to the porch. So this originally probably oops, there's another one. We just had new sidewalk and new driveway put in. Nice. New door there. So originally this was probably in front of the house. Okay. And none of this was here. This porch, uh, you believe, is original, or at least uh, the it's, positioning of it. Yep, the, it's a replica of what it was from mm -hmm. about two years it's ago. It's restored then, restored, reconstructed. Yep. The re fully restored porch. This is probably the front, so you can imagine this is a whole big farm. Mm -hmm. None of this was here. This whole, probably all the way to the main road is farm, nothing. Um, there was a dugout basement that we kind of fixed up and turned into a full basement. And just last year, we added this on. And we this historically a uh, preserved house, so we had to go through the process of proving this. And we wanted to make it like the corbels matching. Uh, we're almost about ready to get corbels back up on the top. Uh. Um, we're not sure originally what the color was. Probably just brick, red brick. Like, so we kind of left it power washed. We're going over to the uh, historical uh, society right now, so uh, we're going There's to. There's some old pictures in there, I think. Yeah. Not quite old, as old as the original. He has one picture, and it looks like it has a either a lightning rod on the front, mm -hmm. or a. Um, yeah, an old TV antenna, but I think it's a, probably a lightning rod. Up on here, yeah. Yeah. Yep, so... Well, this is going to be a shaky video, but... Sorry about that, Larry. <laughs> but this is uh, Colonel Thomas Stevens' home as it is, stands in uh, 2022. Uh, in Dodgeville, Wisconsin. In Dodgeville, Wisconsin. And many... The addition was 2020. Okay. And we'd like to thank you very much for, for all your help. Yeah. I'd like to thank you for... This is the grave marker for Colonel Thomas Stevens. He was a swordsman who wrote a manual during the American Civil War. He came from England. At one time, he was the bodyguard of Queen Victoria. Sometime in the, in the 1830s, he came to America. And by the end of the 1830s, he uh, petitioned for citizenship. He became a colonel in the 2nd Wisconsin Cavalry Volunteers. He also became the Inspector General of Wisconsin before his death. This is in the cemetery here in Dodgeville. It's really hard to read the, um, the epitaph. I will take some photographs, Larry, and see if we can make it out at some point.